In this video, we are going to talk about naming branches of branches. So in this hydrocarbon, which I've drawn, the first thing you'll notice is that we have a main chain and that we have a branch. But you can see here that our branch has its own branch. So how do we go about naming this type of compound? So first thing we do is count the longest chain. It's going to be our parent chain. And when you count all the carbons, you can see that we have nine. So that corresponds to nine A. On position five, we have this whole uh, branch. So we know that our substituent is going to be on carbon five. When we look at the substituent that we have, you can see that we have one main chain here and then we have the side chain here. So if you go through the longest uh, chain in the in the branch, you can see that we have one, two, three carbons. So this is going to be called a propyl. And then off the propyl, we're going to have one, two, and that's going to be an ethyl. So if you think of the propyl as the part of the, the main one here, the name of this substituent, this whole thing, is going to be one because the ethyl connects to one on the propyl. One ethyl and then propyl non-name.